Welcome to Tag Links. From this to that. Let's look at the links of where objects come from to better understand our lives today. This true story shows how tech connects from baas to books. Long ago, the first people wear animal skins. Bit itchy that. Later, people noticed that sheep are comfy in their warm coats while humans are cold. By chance, sheep walk by thistles. Shepherds notice the wool fibers. People get the idea to spin fibers into threads. Next, people invent simple looms to weave threads into wool cloth. For thousands of years, people wear wool clothes. Later, people see that flax plants have fibers. People learn how to spin flax into threads. Next, people weave linen cloth for clothes. People first weave linen tens of thousands of years ago. Wow! Later, the Egyptians wear linen when they make the pyramids. Also, Greek thinkers wear linen. The Romans wear linen too. Europeans in the Middle Ages wear linen too. Suddenly, a new loom comes to Europe from Muslim Spain. New foot pedals and hand shuttles help people make cloth faster and cheaper. But this causes a problem. Workers using whorls can't make threads fast enough for the weavers. Luckily, the spinning wheel comes to Europe from China. Flax threads and cloth make slower cost linen clothes. Over time, all that linen that people wear wears out. There are lots of linen rags. The worn out linen rags are smashed, pulverized, and steered. The linen fiber soup is spread thin onto screens. Wine press screws help press out the water. To make Paper. Now, people have lots of cheap linen paper about. This is a time when human scribes hand write one book, one copy at a time. It takes months to copy one book. Books are written on animal skins called parchment. Parchment is made like this. Get the animal skin. Soak. Scrape it. Stretch. And dry it. Prep the surface. It takes hundreds of animal skins to make one book, like this Bible copy. Plentiful cheap paper begins to replace expensive parchment. Scribes begin to make more books when disaster strikes. Rats with fleas from trading ships spread the plague disease. One in three people die. When the plague is over, there is a need for books and legal documents. But there are not enough scribes to handwrite the books. There is plenty of linen paper though. In an aha moment, this guy, Goldsmith Gutenberg, has an idea. He knows how to make rings and things. He makes special molds. He casts removable type letters like this. He groups the interchangeable individual letters into words and sentences. He puts ink onto the letters. He puts paper on top. Next, he presses it all together. Voila! The printed page. Printing makes books faster and cheaper. No animals are needed either. Before the printing press, 99 out of 100 people in the world cannot read. In its first 100 years, 
People use printing presses to print 20 million books. Amazingly, books spread knowledge around the globe. To see the impact of printed books on our world, let's compare. A handwritten book is like a dim candle in a dark room for one person. Mass-produced books are like sunlight shining on the world. Bountiful books enable the Renaissance and Enlightenment. Today, connected online books continue to educate and enhance our lives. To close, wow! Long ago, People wear wool. People invent better machines to make linen clothes. People use the rags to make linen paper. Surprise! After the plague, there are not enough writers. This guy invents a printing machine. Worldwide, the number of books and readers skyrockets. Amazing! From buzz to books in seven links, Tech Connects change our world. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 4 million free Alfred ebooks and videos have been downloaded. Subscribe now!